Listening to the voice, I come on, dig me now. One and only Steve Harvey. I got a radio show. Somebody sent me an email one day, that, you know, kind of a nasty little email. <laughs> you know, I think I said it once before Steve Harvey trying to be a preacher. Man, I'm so far from being a preacher, man, I can't even tell you. But what I am trying to do is share information. Now, I understand how haters work, and I understand how the devil works. Believe me, I do. You know, sometimes even he, the devil, surprises me at the level and the angles of attack they use. You know, which I go, wow, man, I didn't, I didn't see that one. Ooh, that was pretty slick. I got, got to give you credit on that when you try to get me. But every time you try to get me, I get saved. I get saved every time, man, because, because God got me. God got some angels camped around me. That's what my mom used to always say as a Sunday school teacher. Never really understood it, but, you know, when I was growing up as a kid, but I got it now. He got some angels around me, and angels come in the form sometimes of people, people who pull your coat to this or introduce you to that or reveal some information to you like this. He got them all around me. So, see, having a relationship with God has been beneficial to me, y'all, It's not just that what he gives to me, but what he protects me from. And, you know, some some people wonder, well, if you were God, why he let them people do that to you? No, that's not how it works. See, there's two forces in this world. There's good and there's evil. And if you succumb to good, that's what you become. That's what you do. But everybody don't succumb to good. Some people succumb to evil. Some people's mission is to hate to destroy, to tear down. And so that force is at work in this world too. And when that force comes up against me, what God never promised me that I wouldn't see none of that, that I wouldn't see the attacks, that I would not come under fire, that I would not be falsely accused. He didn't say that. Matter of fact, he forewarned me that it would happen. But what he does give me in those moments are moments of comfort and peace knowing that he's with me, and that no matter what my enemy does to bring me down, it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. So come if you want to. Fight if you will. I have a man that has been attacking me since I owned the comedy club in Dallas. He has been on a mission. And that if I don't give him $5 million, he's going to do it. 
He done done everything. He has done everything. Now he done messed around and got himself now claiming in his letters physically ill. And his illnesses and what's befallen his family, he's blaming that on me too. Had Steve Harvey not stressed me out and paid me this money he owe me. Where, where, where are you coming with this? He just has kept on and on and on. And you know what? He done messed around and got himself sick. He done messed around, man, got himself in some situation. And can I tell you something? It's been going on since 19, um, maybe 97. He started the attack when I first went on. No, before that. <laughs> Probably 95. He started the attacks in 95. Every now and then. He done got six lawyers. All the lawyers done dropped the case after they come in and they discover the fact. But he's steady trying. But it's the angels that's around. And I forewarned him several times, man. Hey, man, if I was you, I'd go ahead on. Because what I'm not going to do is bend. Because, see, you cannot break me because I happen to be a soldier for Christ. I happen to be an imperfect soldier for Christ. There's nothing, man. There's nothing. And, oh, oh, and it ain't like a bunch of people done tried now. Oh, y'all been on YouTube. Y'all been on the internet. Oh, they done tried. Oh, they done put some dirt on me, man. That ain't true. But if you keep looking at me, though, and I am not the prize, but if you put your eyes on God, it's where you go. But if you look at me, he's covered me through it all. And that's been the importance of the relationship I form with God, is that I know that I'm under his wings, that I'm ever under his ever-loving protection that he got me. And I just want to share that with you, that if you got, if you're looking for some protection, if, you, if you're looking for a way to have the strength to get through what you're going through, get some God. man. If, 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 if you want a way out, get some God, man. If you've been gangbanging and you're sick of gangbanging, get you some God, man. If you're tired of being on drugs and you're tired of drinking, get you some God, man. If you're tired of being, if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, get you some God, man. I'm just telling you now, if you're trying to make your dreams come true and it look like you ain't going to make it and you still believe that that's for you, get you some God, man. If you're setting a new goal, dream, or aspiration and you're trying to get there and you're going to start out today, get you some God, man. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. See, it's real what I'm saying, man. I ain't no fake dude with it. You understand? Know I'm, I'm just telling you real. Get you some God, man, and be patient. Have faith. Believe. Don't doubt. But Lord have mercy, get ready to work your tail off. Did you hear me? Get you some faith. Believe. Don't doubt. And get ready to work your tail off. God can't bless him. You see, a lot a lot of times we go to God asking for prayers and stuff, but we go to him and we don't give nothing, God nothing to bless. We want blessings, but we don't give him nothing to bless. You make one step, he'll make two. You start, he'll finish. You come, he'll go. You dream it, he'll build it. You start it, he'll finish. See, you see, you trying everything your way. I'm going to go to court. I had a conversation with a man yesterday. Just sitting, just called me, man, and was just talking about, but Steve, you know, man, I, 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 this dude been owing me $2,300 for four years. I just asked him, have you survived the four without the $2,300? Yeah, man. How much you think you done spent trying to get to $2,300? Just a few hundred. Now, let me ask you something. Do you have a few hundred more to try to get this 2,300 that you've been trying to get for four years? Yeah, I could do that. But do you want to, man? Do you have the time to dedicate four more of your years to try to get 2,300? But, Steve, I'm out of work right now. I fell on some hard times. I could use that money. And I've been praying to God to help me. Yeah, you've been praying to God to help you. God probably got something way greater for you. But you got to let go of your own thinking and let God have his way. You understand? You feel me? You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 
All right, everybody, you are about to listen to the Steve Harvey Morning Show with Shirley Strawberry, your truly Jane Brown, Carla Pharrell, Jr., and Nephew Tommy. But before we do the reintroduction, I got to do some shout-outs for some special people who don't ever get a shout-out. The theater people, the lady who rips up the ticket, the people who pop the popcorn, the man who have to go back there and fix that damn projector, and you call him all kind of names. And last but not least, the men and women who have to wear them stupid-ass, short-ass jackets. Good morning, <laughs> Shirley Strawberry. How you doing? I'll seat, Jay. I'll seat all day. I do not like to sit in the middle. I don't like people crossing over me. Uh, I got to sit on the end because I got to pee. Yes. How about it, Carla Pharrell? Where you like to sit in the theater, baby? In the middle, in the new recliner seats that go Ooh, all yeah, the way oh, back. Oh, in that yes. night. In that night. Yes. Nice. Yes. Come on, seats where you're going to go. So what, what I miss? What I miss? I, I know because you <laughs> sleep, right? Good morning, Jay crew. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Junior. Where you like to sit, Man. Morning, Jay. I like to sit at the very top by myself. <laughs> Don't nobody bother you up there. And last but not least is the King of Pranks. King of Pranks, where you like to sit, man? Man, I'm in the very center section. It is 20 <laughs> seats in a row, and I keep uh, going from uh, 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 20 and 21 because I don't feel like I'm directly center. I keep bouncing back oh, and Oh, you that guy. You that I'm guy. That guy. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You I'm keep moving. Guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, the theater has changed a lot, man. It's like the, those seats ah. that you talk about, and they come and they serve your food. It's almost like being home, man, with somebody to wait on. Nice. It's but, nice. Yeah. But, it's nice. But here's nice. the question, though. Is the food uh, good? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. girl. I know yes. that popcorn is. What? So what, what is your thing when you go to the movie? What do you have to have? Oh, I got to have that okay. butter popcorn. Okay. Uh -oh. And my M&Ms with peanuts. I don't always mix them together, but I do mm -hmm. like to have both those things. In the bucket. That's yes. The and yeah. you drinking yeah. what, sir? Water. Sorry, I uh, know that's boring. Water. Oh, that's real boring. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh -oh. All that sugar and butter, I need yeah. some water. Not oh, a I'm, <laughs> I'm ordering the from the dock. They taking the popcorn? Well, let me let me backdoor it, Shirley, with the chocolate raisinettes. Yes, Carla, uh, yes. Ugh. <laughs> and a medium. Don't ugh my movie snacks. <laughs> Just ugh me. Yeah. And a medium icy mix. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cola and cherry. strawberry. Oh, okay. okay. Y'all oh, yeah. don't know how yeah. to go to the movies oh, at all. Y'all don't do know it, nothing Jay? about going. Here's what you do. You get you a bag of them red vines or some places they call them Twizzlers. Uh -huh. You stick yes. that down in your icy so when you pull them out, they're frozen solid. Boy. Nice. Boy. Ooh. I like it. Ooh. Come on, Junior. Uh -huh. Oh, man. It's just hot dog, popcorn, <laughs> and a Hennessy. <laughs> 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 they do sell at the movie. Um, in there. Right. Okay, let me give y'all mine. Uh -huh. Got two Ziploc bags. One got, one got some old fried wings in it. Uh -huh. The other one got some greens in it. Slide your fork in in your pocket. You balling, baby. Yeah. You balling. You know what? I'm not mad at bringing your own food to no, the theater. Not with the prices. Not with the prices. Not at all. Uh -uh. You get a big old bag, big old purse. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, coming up at 32 after the hour, J. Anthony Brown is coming up with a list of stuff he's been told to take since the news broke that he has leukemia. That's coming oh. up. Yeah, right yeah. after yeah. this. We'll, we'll cue it. It will cue it. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Well, if you have to, uh, if, if you want to give J. Anthony Brown a shout out or no. some well wishes, um, no. <laughs> you can call us at 877-29-STEVE. <laughs> only well wishes, though, okay? Yeah, only well wishes. <laughs> or you can go to Steve Harvey FM on social media. Now, Jay, um, you're here. You say you have a list of stuff that people oh have told God. you to take. These are a list of things that people have told me that will cure cancer because their mama or their daddy did it, and you should try it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Yeah. what? We'll, we'll cure, we'll, yeah, we'll uh, cure, uh, uh, and they say it real low, Shirley. Uh -huh. What you need to do <laughs> is get you some room temperature gummy bears and eat those. Cure <laughs> is, that is this right. top secret, <laughs> yeah, Top secret. They say it real low. Now, now I know you like gummy yeah, bears. Room, room temperature gummy bears. Now, I know you like pork and beans. Eat the pork out the bean can. Don't eat the beans. Just <laughs> eat the pork. Eat the pork yeah. out the bean. Bacon. Yeah. Bacon now you need to go to uh, Buffalo Wild Wings or one of them Buffalo places where they sell chicken at. Just eat the chicken tips, not the rest of the chicken. Oh, that little gristle part? The look, you gotta eat that. Yeah. 
<laughs> now, you what gotta, is this, Jay? What is this? This will kill cancer. These people are sure that this will kill cancer, and they give me these remedies every day. Every day. Uh-huh. Got one today. What? You got to mm-hmm. eat the bottom part of cornbread, not the top. <laughs> just just <laughs> with the bottom part. <laughs> What is going on? Oh, the the crusty part. This, that, that crusty part where it's all brown and dark and black. You, you know them you know them goldfish crackers? Yeah. Yes. Crackers? Yes. You got to make your goldfish cracker shake, and you got to take that right down. <laughs> to suck that right down. People come yeah. up with some remedies. Come up with the stuff. This is stuff that they say will kill leukemia. They say what you do when you go to sleep, mm-hmm. you put two milk duds on each eye, and you go to sleep. And <laughs> When you wake up, you'll be cancer-free. It's gone, man. (laughs) Golly. And all that money you're spending at those doctors. Look at Uh. that. Oh, this is the one I heard the other day. He said, you know, now this is going to be kind of nasty because you're going to use some some gloves, get you some rubber gloves. But you get Uh you some pigeon droppings, and you go to sleep with that behind your ear. And when you wake up, cancer gone, man. You you (laughs) cancer-free. Oh, man. Oh, this it's stuff to kill. Man, people are crazy, man. They said mm. when you go to sleep, put a half-eaten avocado up under your pillow and Mm-mm. sleep with that like that every night, uh-huh. mm. and, and, the, and, and the cancer be gone. But this one, now this, this one right here is a real good one. Okay. So you got to get you a small bag of chicken bones. Like put that in a okay. sock. Uh-huh. And wear that around your neck. And a what? And a what? <laughs> and a small bag of chicken bones. What do black and people always sock. say yeah. put it but in But it's got to be one of them old socks, Shirley, with the three rings on the top. Yes, the one you yes, 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 Jay. Uh, AJ. Uh-huh. You know what I heard? I heard you know that you know when you open a spam can, you know that juice uh-huh. that's you know that juice that's in there. Yes, yes. Take that juice, drain uh-huh. it. Uh-huh. Gargle that right after you brush. <laughs> Two yeah. days later, if you do that for three days, uh-huh. leukemia is gone. What? It's gone. Oh, that's what you okay. heard. That's, what that's what I heard. I'm just telling you. That's what I heard. Okay. Have you heard one, Junior? Yeah. You, well, for me, for sickle cell? Uh-huh. uh-huh. Oh, yeah, dog. Hear? All kinds of stuff for sickle cell. Like what? Uh-huh. Like take some Vicks Vapor Rub uh-huh. Uh-huh. and rub it on the bottom of your feet. Yeah. Then uh-huh. take the other part. Swallow that, uh-huh. and then Ooh. put two sides in your ears. That's gonna stop sickle cell from spreading. <laughs> let me let me let me piggyback on that big vapor rub. You wanna line your underwear with it, and that vapor will seep up. Yeah. When that vapor that... seeps up in your ass, yeah. it gets all the way in that there. Get rid of it. It. Nobody <laughs> told you that, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Jay, I'm telling you, you don't put it directly on you behind. Yeah. You just smooth it in your underwear. Put them uh, bras on, and once man. that methylator, once that menthol- to let him get up in there? Yeah. Oh, it knocked that cancer right out. <laughs> no. Oh, no, man. They come up with some good ones. Oh, they do, man. You, so you, take, you, that, you take that preparation H. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, you know, it comes in a tube. You can squirt it out like toothpaste. Mm. Brush with that. Brush with uh-huh. that for two and a half days, then floss uh-huh. with it. Yeah. Don't ever spit it out. Swallow that. Uh-uh. Now, 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 I've tried that. I've tried that. It's, 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 <laughs> you have. But the only problem, your lips shrink, so you're going to turn that neck for a whole week. Oh, that would be good for Steve. Jay. I know. Jay. Now, wait, what are y'all doing now? What These are the to... remedies that people give us, because Junior's got sickle cell and I got leukemia. <laughs> These are remedies that people swear by yeah. will cure mm. anything. What you got, Junior? Like the lady <laughs> told me, do you really want to get rid of sickle cell? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Do you really want to get rid of uh-huh, sickle cell? Uh-huh. I said, yeah. She said, go down there and mate with a llama. <laughs> that, that's going to really get it out. Uh, I tried it. <laughs> now, listen, here's what both of y'all can do. Uh-huh. This will cure leukemia you? and sickle cell. Uh-huh. This will cure uh-huh. it. What you got go there, into the stove. Yeah. Uh-huh. Look for some bluebell ice cream. Uh-huh. Lick that. Lick, lick that. Uh-huh. Then go by the jalapeno aisle and lick that too. Uh-huh. And walk out. And I promise you, a day later, all that's gone. Leukemia <laughs> and sickle cell. It's just, just stuff like they things. say. People say we'll kill leukemia and cancer. Here's one. Here's one. Uh-huh. Now we're on the uh-huh. animal tip. Find yourself a black cat, grab him by the neck, blow mm-hmm. right in his face. Because what you're doing is blowing the cancer out your body into the cat's body. <laughs> <laughs> they they don't like it. That. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, they don't like that. It sounds like, sound like the green mind. That's yeah. Like. All that's going to get rid of cancer. Oh, don't give me either one of them. I was in, actually, Jay, one time I was in your hometown. I was in Columbia. Mm. I met a lady, she put her hand on my hand. She said, I really heard you've been going through sickness. Uh-huh. I said, yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. She said, do you really want to get rid of this? <laughs> ooh, ooh, I said, yes, ma'am. She said, put this I, on. Uh -huh. And she said, put this on and follow me into this neighborhood. It was a KKK outfit. <laughs> they they going to beat it out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, put that on. They will beat the sickle out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 the last remedy. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep working Shilly on those cheese. cures. We'll keep chili working on cheese, them. Chili cheese Fritos. They don't kill a damn thing, but they just taste good. That's what you got to get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, coming up next, run that prank back with the nephew right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, entertainment news. This story is crazy. Uh, ASAP Rocky, you guys all know him, the rapper. Well, he's being held right now in inhumane conditions in a Swedish jail. Uh, we'll yeah. talk about that. I know that's crazy. It's horrible. Yeah, horrible. it really is bad. Plus, in other entertainment news, uh, U.S. women's soccer star Megan Rapinoe, uh paid tribute to the late Nipsey Hussle in a celebratory social media post. Uh, but mm. first, the nephew in the building. Okay. That was nice, huh? Mm. Uh, nephew Ooh. in the building with Run That Prank Back. What you got, Neff? This I right know. here is what you call repass chicken. Oh, oh. repass oh. chicken. See, 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 a lot of y'all ain't been to a repass lately. And y'all done, done got beside yourself. See, when somebody passes, you stop and you pick up something. That's what loved ones do. That's what repass goers do. Okay? Okay. All right? I ordered chicken. How many was it? Okay? <laughs> but then I realized, you know what? I don't really need all that chicken. So right. I called him back and I canceled that chicken. <gasps> here it is. Oh, this right Ooh. here is repass chicken. <laughs> I hate you. Thank you for calling. You want to take your order? Hey, I need to make an order. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, look, take the fries up, man. Get them up for they burn. Man, hurry up. Hello? What up? Uh, hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you for calling. Can I help you? Hey, hey, I'm trying to get an order, man. We just got through with a funeral. I'm trying to take some chicken over to the free pass where the family at, man. All right, man. Well, well, how much you need? Okay, I know I'm going to need probably like 125 pieces of chicken, dog. How long that take to cook? Uh, man, uh, we're not ready right now, man. It takes probably at least like, uh, like 30, 45 minutes, bro. Okay. Right okay. All right. I need 125 pieces, man. But listen, I'm a, what kind of um, you know, I'm trying to make sure we get enough. You know how it is, man. Somebody passed, so we trying to make sure we got enough food at the house, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what kind of size you got, man? Because I want to try to get large family sizes on. Uh, Y'all got potato salad? Uh, yeah, we got uh, French fries, potato salad, uh, greens, macaroni and cheese. You know the normal stuff. How much you need of each of that? Let me get like two or all of them. You know what I'm saying? Two of each. That ought to be. Go and give me four of them greens. Though, but I know they're gonna want some green. Uh, you got family size? Them, yeah, family size on everything, man. Two of each, but give me four green. All right. Okay, now give me some rolls, man. At least at least twenty rolls to go with that. All right. Do you need anything else? Make sure I got a big thing of fries, man. You know, the kids like them fries. Let me get a big thing of fries. You order a lot of food, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come get it though. Uh, Thirty minutes. So you said how, how long you before I need to be there? Uh, probably 35, you know, give us, give us about 45 minutes before to be ready. Alright, what's your name? My name is Rob, Robert Alright, uh, you got a phone number I can reach you at? 404 uh -huh. 2 uh -huh. 8 3 Okay, I got you. Okay, so you got 125 pieces. It's gonna be mixed, right? Yeah, white and okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Did you want it? Did you want it spicy or mild or mixed? Or how did you want that? You know what? Separated, man. What of the uh, mild is in one boxes, and then you got the spicy in other boxes. So you know we'll know, so the kids won't get out too. All right. Okay. Hey, Jeff, man, can you take his order for me? I'm on the phone. Take his order. All right, I, I got you. What's my total on that, man? So I can go, you know, because I ain't been paid by all this by myself. I can got everybody pitching in on this. Uh, hold on, let me get to the register right quick. Uh, uh, it's going to be 208.75. Uh, that's what I got. Okay, 208.75. 30 minutes, I'm going to start coming there. What's your name, dog? Uh, my name is uh, Wayne. Hi, right, Wayne. I'm going to answer you, but I'll be there in about 40 minutes, man. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, man, I think the robber. This is Rob. Hey, what's up, man? This is Wayne. is. Chicken, man, I was just uh, calling to let you know uh, we finished a little bit early and your, your last batch of tickets, you just dropped it. 
Okay, oh, 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 man, I meant to call you a few minutes ago, dog. Hey, listen, uh, you cook all of it? Yeah, man, you wanted, uh, 125, uh, pieces, mixed, spicy, and mild with, uh, four large sides of each thing, uh, five large sides of fries. Yeah, I cooked all that for you. Got it ready. Okay, check this out, dog. Uh, I've been talking to everybody, man. You know what, man? I'm just gonna need about 10 pieces, dog. I ain't gonna really need the rest of that. Excuse me? I just need 10 pieces, dog. I talked to everybody, man. Everybody went and bought some. They, they want a hamburger, so. I'm just gonna need a 10 pieces of that chicken. Uh, bro, man, we already cooked all this chicken, man. Uh, I got 125 pieces, bro. If you don't come by this I'm in trouble, man. What the mean you don't need 10 pieces? I just need 10 pieces, dog. You know, I don't need all that. I don't want to buy nothing I don't need. I just need 10 pieces. Man, nah, bro. You gonna come by this chicken, man. This some We just sit here. It's only me and one other dude up here. We working out. Man, you gonna get this chicken. Hey, dog, I'm not finna buy no chicken I don't want, man. I'm not finna do that, dog. I, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm doing this for the bereaving family, man. So, you know, like I say, yeah, I'm gonna take 10 pieces by there and drop that off, man. But, I, you know, I don't need that whole 125 or whatever. Uh, Robert, y'all better be all the way to come get this chicken or it's gonna be some I cooked all this chicken, man. What the am I supposed to do, man? My manager found out about this I'm getting fired. What Okay, dog, you ain't got nobody else to go, that's gonna buy some chicken today. Now, who the hell's gonna come up here and buy 125 pieces of chicken? Yeah, man, this call back to my, he don't want 125, he only want a 10 piece. Come on, motherfucker, manager gonna be Yeah, this gonna be Hello, y'all, I just need 10 pieces, man. But, man, I cooked up all this chicken for you, organized it and everything. Okay, dog, well, listen, man, won't you just sell it little by little today? Just sell it little by little. Man, there's no way in hell, man. Who don't have the time for this? I'm not about to unpack all this chicken, man, and put it back up, bro. Y'all better come get this chicken or it's gonna be tell you that. Man, I don't give a man. I will call every funeral home around, find out who died, and I will come find your Robert. You gonna come up here and get this chicken. Hey, man, I'm not finna buy no chicken I don't want, man. I want 10 pieces. That's it. No, no, your want 125 pieces of chicken because that's what the hell you call to tell me that you want it. Hey, man, who you think you're talking to? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to that's about to come up to and buy some chicken. 125 pieces of it. That's what I'm talking to. So bring it, bring your 208,075 cents and come buy the chicken. Oh, no, 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 no. Calm down, man. He need to come and get this chicken, man. Man, man, you're going to fire his way. He's going to jump in and we all fire, bro. Come get this chicken right now. you going to get this chicken. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, dear who you think you talking about, woman? I'm talking to you. I told you I'm talking to the that's gonna come up here and get this chicken. Either you gonna bring two hundred and eight dollars, or you gonna come up here and get ten pieces of chicken. It's up to you. But either way, coming up here, what you wanna do? I'm gonna send somebody else up there to get the chicken, man. Okay? Who you gonna send up here? Tommy coming to get the chicken. Tommy, who? What's his name? And I gotta get all our information. Off the what's his name? Tommy, man, nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. What the hell you just say to me? Why ain't this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning? Man, this is some. Man, you about to have somebody get yeah, what, bro? What man? What am I supposed to do with all this chicken, though? <laughs> Wayne, your cousin, man. You got a cousin named Courtney. <laughs> Oh, that dirty Y'all cooked all that chicken, man? Yeah, we cooked up all that chicken, bro. Hey, Wayne, this is what I'm doing, man. On behalf of nephew Tommy, I'm finna give you my credit card, and we're gonna donate chicken all day, man. You see some homeless people or whatever, you just pass out the chicken. I'm finna, we finna get it paid for right now, Wayne. Yeah, man, I, I can't trust y'all. Y'all got me paranoid. I'm about to run right now. <laughs> Hey, Wayne, one more thing, man. What's the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Oh, uh, man, the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> really? All right, thank you, nephew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you play too much. Coming up at the top of the hour, we'll, we'll have some entertainment news for you right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Well, guys, in trending hip-hop news, the more details we get, the more it sounds like ASAP Rocky's situation in Sweden is a nightmare. 
Uh, ASAP Rocky was arrested last week after he and some members of his crew started fighting with a couple of Swedes who were reportedly harassing them. Uh, ASAP Rocky will be behind bars for at least two weeks as prosecutors try to build an aggravated assault case. The Swedish Supreme Court has rejected an appeal arguing that ASAP Rocky is not a flight risk and should be allowed bail. He's in solitary confinement, but his cell is near other prisoners who could bring down his quality of life and the sanitary standards. Now, this is according to TMZ. ASAP Rocky is next to a mentally ill man who slams his head against the concrete wall and throws poop in every direction. Oh, okay. Geez. All right. The food there is apparently inedible and Rocky can't stomach any more than an apple a day. Sources allege the water is not clean and overall the place is just disease ridden. Rocky is reportedly looking for help from the U.S. consulate to, consulate to try and negotiate his release, though the first time a U.S. official arrived at the jail, he was turned away. Mm. Okay. On a subsequent visit, they were allowed to talk, but only as long as there were Swedish guards in earshot. Now, is this something out of the movies or what? But the, only this is real. This is this is crazy. It's it, it, kind of crazy. Yeah. It's inhumane. Oh, it, it's it all is. of the above. Well, and so, what happened? The guys were making fun of them and like teasing them first. Well, they got into yeah. a fight. Well, this the, is what it sounds these, like it was a fight. Yeah, these That's guys were following them. They were following mm-hmm. them all yeah. over Sweden. They were following them yeah. everywhere. And ASAP Rocky was them. asking them, "Yeah, harassing them." Please stop. You know, leave us alone. Stop, stop, stop. They never did. So finally they got into a fight. Well, it's yeah, only but- so much trash you can take off of a man wearing wooden shoes. You know what I mean? You really got to fight. <laughs> You've got to fight. <laughs> I mean, so how many times? That's what has if, to happen. Yeah. yeah, if he's in there talking trash and he got on wooden yeah. shoes, you just can't take that. Yeah. You're going to have to fight. How, much, gonna- how much of this coot and talk you going to take? <laughs> <laughs> what you're doing over here. You know, you ain't going to take that out. Coot and talk. You know the And his name is what, Shirley? ASAP? Yeah, you know ASAP Rocky. Yeah, ASAP Rocky. Yeah, yeah. 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 But change my name. This is crazy. This is really though. crazy. This is really. This is but horrible. You just find this is out. horrible. Though. I mean, I hate that he has been with it, but you find out you really don't represent them lyrics like you say you do. <laughs> 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 like, what you mean, Junior? Junior. Like, tell me what in you the, mean, Junior. In the song, you know, you take on you everything. Hard. You are hard. You are hard. Now you need the U.S. consulate. First rapper to call on the consulate. <laughs> You need to get well, out of there ASAP. Up. That's what you need well, to do. Get I out mean, of there ASAP. Yeah. You know There's what? a guy in wooden shoes giving me a hard time. What should I do? Huh? What should I do? What should I do? Yeah, I, I, I really feel for him over there, though, because this is terrible, yeah. and it's nothing, yeah. yes. you know, we can do yeah. about it over here. Uh, Worst thing you don't want to do. Yeah, in, into a, a prison mm-hmm. in another country, yeah. you know, especially with inhumane conditions. You're throwing poop. We need to get him out ASAP. What? That's for sure. What? Jay. For sure. what, Jay. What you, gonna, you ain't going to hit me with no poop, though. You ain't going to hit me with no poop. I mean, they ain't Captain just Obvious. <laughs> yeah, this is really bad. I feel uh, yeah, I, I, I do. I, I really feel for him in this situation. Absolutely. All right, Jay. Uh, listen, it's time uh, to go to news. Let's go. All right, everybody. It's time for the news with Miss Ann Tripp. Thank you very much, everybody, and good morning. The man Donald Trump selected to be Labor Secretary Alexander Acosta finds himself defending the rather lenient plea deal he worked out about 10 years ago when he was a federal prosecutor in Florida for billionaire sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, who was accused of molesting dozens of underage girls in Miami. Epstein was ordered to pay restitution to his victims, register as a sex offender, and spend only 13 months in prison. However, with Epstein now indicted on child sex trafficking charges in New York, Officials are now looking at the Florida case and at Acosta. Jeffrey Epstein was known to socialize with Democrats and Republicans like former President Clinton and Donald Trump. Republicans have renewed their effort to get rid of the Affordable Care Act, part of their continuing moves to get rid of all things Obama. But do they really pretend that the so-called Obamacare program is all bad? Well, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell doesn't seem to think so. The important thing for the public to know is there's nobody in the Senate not in favor of covering pre-existing conditions. Nobody. And if that were under any of these scenarios, uh, 
uh, to go away, we would act quickly on a bipartisan basis to restore it. And, of course, that was a very, very much a part of Obamacare. However, McDonald did not, uh, McConnell did not commit to a specific way of accomplishing that. Meanwhile, the Democrats are holding rallies, pledging to defend the entire Affordable Care Act as it is. Stay tuned. Texas billionaire and former presidential contender Ross Perot. Remember him? He's died of leukemia at age 89. In 1992, Ross Perot became the most successful third-party candidate since Teddy Roosevelt, garnering about 19 percent of the popular vote in the end. Ross Perot is best remembered in the black community for referring to African Americans as you people on the campaign trail. A federal appeals court has ruled that President Trump's violated the Constitution by banning critics from his Twitter account. The appeals justices agreed with the lower court that uh, ruled that the First Amendment does not allow public officials to exclude people from an otherwise open online dialogue. This week's ruling comes in a case involving seven people whom the president blocked on Twitter after they criticized his uh, policies. Trump has over 60 million, by the way, Twitter followers. New York City honors the world champion women's soccer team today, USA, with a ticker tape parade up the so-called Canyon of Heroes in Manhattan. No word if the award-winning athletes are going to be invited to the White House, but even if they are, the team captain Megan Rapinoe has already announced that she's not going to go. Now, the team did receive an invite to the Congress, however, by way of Senate Minority Leader Charles Schumer, and Rapinoe says... That sounds good. Thank you, Chuck Schumer, for for inviting us out. We are very happy to accept your invitation to come. So it looks like they're going to come and, you know, appear before the Congress anyway. The Justice Department has appointed a new team of civil division attorneys to handle all census-related cases in the wake of the controversy over Trump's proposed citizenship question. The Trump administration spokesman says the panel includes career and political appointees alike. Today, Pina Colada Day. If you like Pina Colada. I like the pineapple part. Now back to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, listen. Floyd Mayweather may be undefeated in the ring. We all know that. We all know that. But uh, it doesn't look like he can play basketball, huh, Ah. Junior? What's going on? (laughs) What happened? Floyd just needs to stick to this ring. Get off these people basketball court. (laughs) What happened? What happened? No, he was playing in a charity basketball game. Mm-hmm. Now, Floyd had to guard the bone collector. Now, for those who don't know who bone collector is, he used to play in the N1, uh, uh, big baller. He used to be the N1 league, mm-hmm. where okay. he used to travel around the country and just play He's a legend, people. right? Yeah, dog, ba- dog, Cole got handles out this world. Oh, he was doing good at first. No, he was guarding him at first. He was doing real good. He was mm-hmm. holding him. But Floyd the, was. Yeah, Floyd mm-hmm. was holding him. But then the ball, <laughs> the bone collector crossed him over two times, and Floyd slid from the three-point line. All the way down to the middle of the free throw line. <laughs> I've never he seen shook Floyd. He no, shook, he shook him so hard. <laughs> Floyd, it looked like he hit him, but he didn't. <laughs> no, he slid all the way down. Now, that visual is funny. Now, you also know that 50 Cent is trolling Floyd mm-hmm. and his uh, Chanel purse mm-hmm. at the Floyd Stunts, his money jewelry on the ground. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Saw it. Saw it. Saw that. Why does yeah. he have this bag? What is this? Well, I it mean, looks like a wheel. That's a big you know, bag. Carl That's Lagerfeld, all I know. Uh, who, who um, you know, designed for Chanel for many, many years. He just passed away uh, not too long ago. He was the one that gave Floyd Mayweather the bag. Oh, okay. okay. So I guess Floyd is paying homage to mm. Carl Lagerfeld. You know, that's his way. And it's yeah. a huge, huge bag. I, I saw it. Oh. He's getting on my nerves. <laughs> Is it homage or homage? I hate when you make me question myself. I said it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's consistent. That one is consistent. Right. Yeah, that was right. <laughs> Back to Floyd. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he still With the wagon wheel. Yeah. He still slide. <laughs> yeah, he still slide. And, and that, to make things worse, don't tell me. Uh-huh. Bone collector drilled the three, too. Why are you on your back? Whoa. <laughs> oh, man, it's messed up for Floyd. So, okay, so we're not giving Floyd any credit for getting out there. and do, no. We're not yeah, doing no, any of no. that. No. Once uh-uh, you didn't uh-uh. slid from the three-point <laughs> line to the free throw line. You just slid. He so, should have done baseball. He'd have been safe. So, you know yeah, he just slid. <laughs> we are sitting here watching everybody and Bo Collector stop to watch you slide. I'm going to give him some credit for getting out there. For, I, what do you am. mean? I'm going to give him some credit for doing that. We no, know you he gotta doesn't give him play credit basketball. For being, you know what? Credit. You know what? This is the one time Floyd should have got in that big-ass bag and rolled his ass <laughs> off the <Yeah>. floor. <laughs> Should have just got in there. Give him credit for being the best in the electric slide. Give him credit for that, okay? 
I mean, it was literally Tommy slide to the left. <laughs> slide to the right. right. He slid <laughs> on his back. Uh. And then Bone Collected knocked the three down, man. I said, this don't make no sense. All right, listen, coming up at 34 after the hour, trending Wimbledon news. Uh, Serena Williams opens an apology letter to uh, Naomi Osaka. Wait till you hear this right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. In trending Wimbledon news, guys, yesterday, our girl Serena Williams defeated Allison Risk uh, in three sets to move on to the semifinals, which will be played tomorrow. Congratulations, Go, Serena. Serena. Yeah, and uh, I watched it. It was I good. I watched it. It was a good match. Too. She's yes, so powerful was. and well, strong. She got serious that third set. Yeah. And yes, she did. Yes, she did. She put that <laughs> half in that bun. One, right? yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, Hold she on. She put that half in the bun Hold and that on. was it. We ain't even supposed <laughs> to be over here <laughs> in All the right, third so, set. Yeah, and she's playing like she has something to prove now. and You know, yeah. she, she's out. She does, though. Yeah, she really does. For all the naysayers who doubt at me, you know. Speaking of Serena, uh, she is on the cover of Harper's Bazaar magazine, uh, and in it, she wrote an apology letter to Naomi Osaka about that controversial championship match. Remember that at last year's U.S. Open? Yeah. Uh, Remember where she called the umpire a liar and a thief? Yes, Yes. we all remember that. (laughs) She was was hot. She was very direct. Yeah, she was hot. Serena even went on to uh, therapy behind the incident. She wrote in a letter to Naomi stating that she was sorry and she thought she was uh, sticking up for herself and never thought the media would pit them against each other. Serena went on to say that she would never... uh, uh, take the light or shine away from another black female athlete. Naomi responded to Serena and uh, it brought tears to Serena. Naomi said people can misunderstand anger for strength because they, can, they can't they can differentiate the two. Naomi went on to say no one stood up for themselves the way you have. You know? Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's nice. Love. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she was upset. I, you know, and, and you're you, your adrenaline's flowing, you're yeah. in a zone, you know, and you thought you had the match and you lost it. So, yeah. I've had yeah. those moments with y'all on this show. I've had Oh, we're, we're having one this morning. <laughs> yeah. I, I, what? How is he in Jay, every you right, Johnny. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? Had every, them damn, because I can relate, Carl. I've had a, I've had oh, a radio me, black but, moment excuse before. Excuse me, Jay. Excuse me, excuse yeah. me. You can relate to Serena Yes, yes the anger, me. the anger, all the words. Me? You a liar. You a damn liar. I've heard them words before. Thank yes. you, oh, Team, Team Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> but wait, can we go back for a moment? Have you guys seen this cover with Serena yes. on it? Yes, yes, baby. Lord, the yes. And, and, and here's some more trending news that's just on my website. Serena is the finest thing in tennis. Let me put that out there once again, as I yeah, did yesterday. She, really she is. is the finest thing playing tennis. Lord have mercy. Okay, oh. do now, you know? Do you know there are other people that's in your house? <laughs> he, he's so ignorant. He's so ignorant. Do you What's know her? that? What? Okay, okay, is she not fine? Too? <laughs> That's for me to no, say. No, 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 Junior, just look me in my eyes right now and tell me. Serena, not fine. I'm say not it, saying that. But do, no, no, we'll Jay, be right it. back to Baby, I Got Caught Up on the Show. Oh. Uh, after these messages. That's all I'm trying to say, Jay. Do you not know that your wife is listening? Your kids is listening? My wife, okay, okay, my wife. Okay, let's talk about my wife. She ain't never seen Serena. <laughs> Don't nobody know this? Ah. Don't nobody know that. I'm the only one know Serena fan. I'm the only wow. one that knows Serena. No. Oh. Wow. Okay. Because wow. me and Shirley even know that. That's a bad girl right there. <laughs> she is. She was, one, she she is was my woman crush Wednesday one day. Uh, and one, she will one be Wednesday. Today. Yes, and she Man. will be today. <laughs> okay. She didn't have to let that leg out just up there, just right there in the back. Yeah. She didn't have to do that to us. But Ooh. the thing about these photos in the magazine, though, she looks really good. They're untouched. They're, they yes. didn't do any yes. retouch they on them. No, you don't they need do, a retouch. And I love that. I love I that. I love that, yeah. too, Shirley. I know yeah. who they yeah. need to interview. Oh, the mm. have you that, ever see, have you guys ever seen her in person? Yes. No, I haven't. I yes. haven't. Oh I must God. say, I haven't. Yes. Jay, it should have been. A, I, oh I, man, I don't oh. want to go too far, but it should have been yeah. a book of Serena. It should have been a book me, of Serena. Wait, excuse me. You don't? Did you say you didn't want to go too far? I didn't want to go too far, oh, but okay. I just think it should have been a book said. of Serena. I'm just saying. I'm I thought that's saying. what you had said in your. Uh-huh. Okay. I think they should have interviewed, and I would like to interview. The man who got the oil, her legs. <laughs> who, who? I want to know what he felt. And how much man. oil did you use? <laughs> what did she move? Her husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
he ain't like the it. leg. He ain't the leg lotion, dude. That ain't. You who know. I want to be the lotion I, on the what leg. Is, but that, but that is Jergens, though. I know Jergens <laughs> when I see it. Man. <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> the ignorant <laughs> nephew. I gotta say it is up next with a prank phone call right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, uh, it's my strawberry letter for today, guys. Subject, she's ready for marriage. I'm not. Uh, But right now, the nephew is in the building with today's prank phone call. What do you have for us today, Neff? I just just need a little help with my child support. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I don't want my woman to know that I got this baby on the way. Do y'all feel You're what I'm You're not asking from? him to pay it. You're not asking him I'm to not, pay I'm it. I'm not Just asking him to pay it. And you're giving the money back. Makes sense <laughs> it, to me. Thank you, brother. Cat dog, will you run it, please? Hello? Hello, my sweet. To Darius? This is me? Who is this? Hey, Darius, my, my name is Lewis, man. Lewis, I work at Tech up there with you. Uh, we met when you first, your first week at the job we met, man. My name is Lewis. I work on the third floor. Uh, you, you'll know me when you see me. You say, you say Lewis? Uh, yeah, Lewis. No, I don't remember no Lewis, man. You know, I, I, I met a lot of people on that, you know, that first day, the first week. You know, I'm just really getting acclimatized to the, to the whole situation, bro. I don't, I, I, I kind of remember, but. It's all good. It's all good. Don't even worry about it, man. Let me answer this here, though. Uh, how long have you been with us now, man? Uh, man, about a strong month, man. I'm really enjoying it, man. Just really getting the swing and getting the hang of everything. So, man, I'm just really enjoying it. It's a great company, man. I'm just happy to be a part of something bigger than myself. You know what I mean? I, I so, yeah, you, man. Hey, well, you know what, man? We got to get you out, man. Because, you know, all the brothers, man, we get together and hang out on certain nights. You know, we like okay. you know, once a month, we might, we might get out on the Thursday, man. So, you got you to gotta come hang out with us, man. We got to get you out. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hey, running, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to make new friends, you know. I have right, to do it. For sure, man. I, I, I call you, though. I call you, though, Darius, because I'm, I'm in a little bit of a jam, though, man. And I, I, okay. I was trying to get somebody to help me out, man. And by you being a, a, you know, just came into the company, man, you know, it might be something you can actually help me out with, man. I just, you know, I, I hate to come in and, and lean on the friendship before we even get started and hang out yet. But I, I just I just need a little bit of help, man. I'm just hoping maybe you'd be open to maybe helping me out or something. I'm always willing to help a brother out, bro. It just, just depends on what you talk about. You know what I'm saying? But okay, check this out, man. I ain't really, really want to tell nobody at the job. You know, uh, I don't, I ain't really trying to let nobody know my business or whatever. But but here's the deal, man. Dude, I done got myself in, in a serious jam, man. I got I got a baby on the way, man. And huh? and uh, I got that's I got a crazy, baby on the man. Way. That's okay, man. That's a great thing. No, 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 no. Listen, man. Listen. Just hear me out, though, Derek. I got, I got a baby on the way, but this ain't, uh-huh. this ain't, this ain't, this ain't my, this ain't from my wife, man. You see what oh. I'm saying? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. So I'm in a now, and the baby do like in the next, you know, six weeks, the baby probably gonna be here. But but, but check this out. Oh, you come man. Over. But check this out. Here, here's what I was trying to get, see if you could do for me, man. Is it okay. any way, because I know you just now, you probably you probably, you probably probably ain't even got your second check yet. You know what I'm saying? No, so, no, nah, man. Wait a minute. So it, wait a minute. But, but is there any way, man, that you might maybe, like, claim this baby for me on your, on, on your, uh, 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 you know, where they take the child support out of your, out of your check? If they take the child support out of your check, wait, wait, but I hook, wait, wait. But, but no, listen, listen to me though. They take the child support out of your check, but I'm gonna give it back to you. I'm gonna give it back to you. I just don't want my wife to find out. You see what I'm saying? Man, what? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, man. You mean it's? I mean, you asking me about money out my out my check? I no, but I'm gonna give it back to you every two weeks when you get your check. I'm gonna oh, be. I'm gonna give. Man, no. you, man, you got to be out your damn mind, man. I don't even mother know you, man. What the? Man, man, I got, all, man, I got a wife and kids of my own. You got like your man? Take no, that no, out no, 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 listen, listen, man. Work on it? But Darren, listen to me, like man. Damn fool, man. Human resource. Who you got a human resource going to take some money out my mother check? I was somebody who take some money out my mother No, I got a friend in human resources. You got your damn mind, man. Money out my check for some shit you did? Man, I got my own kids to take care of. There's money coming out my own damn check for my own kids. You tell me what's wrong with you, man. Dude, how, how you get my damn number anyway, man? Oh, no, no, I got your number from one of the, one of the guys at the job, man. We're one of the one of the one 
guys, man. I don't know nothing. Man, what guys, man? Are you on the phone talking this shit, man? Talking about we got to hang out, man. We got to hang out. Man, I ain't never some bullshit. You can hit me with this bullshit you talking about now, man. Hey, I bet you this. I bet you right now a red motherfucker better come out of my damn check, man. Oh, we gonna have some pride. Uh, what's, uh, what's your name again? Who are you? My name, my name, Lewis. Lewis who? Lewis who? My name, Lewis. Lewis. I don't know no Lewis. Lewis man, you know Lewis is where I work at, man. Who no, met, man? we we met we met the first couple of days you got there, man. Hey, like man, I'm a Lewis man. Who okay, is this so somebody no, 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 around taking money out my check, man? And, no, all I'm saying, dog, I'm going to give you the money back. No, all I'm just saying is... All I'm saying is, dog, a better not touch my money. I'm telling you that right now. Are we going to okay, have some okay. problems? Hey, Louis, Louis, Louis how, how you spell it? Louis, man, L-O-U-I-S, dog. I'm a, I'm a, hey, hey, let me tell you something. I bet not see no Louis in the morning. I, I bet you that. I bet you I bet not see no Louis in the morning. And who ain't got okay, a human resource plan to play with my money? Man, y'all crazy, man. Trying to have my wife kill me? No, I'm just, no, no, but I'm, I'm, trying to get, I'm just trying to get you to look out for me, man. I don't want my wife to find this stuff out, dog. That's all I'm trying man, to get you to look out for me. Who the gonna look out for me, man? Who gonna look out for me and my kids, man, taking money out of my check? No, no, just, 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 can you at least maybe take 24 hours just think about it? Man, it ain't nothing to think about, man, when it comes to my money, man. Got your there, man. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what. I, I tell you what, Louis. You gonna be there tomorrow morning? Yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm, I'm not tomorrow. But I mean, what, okay. What, you about to have these white folks see me perform? You gonna have them see some shit. I guarantee you, these white folks. I'm gonna be on the damn news if I start playing with my damn money. So, hey, you gonna have me show my? And I ain't been on the job that long. But I tell you what. I tell you what. I'm gonna lose that motherfucker. Somebody playing with my money. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you, I'm... But, 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 hey, let me ask you this, man. Do you think Dwayne would have done this for me? Do you think the, your, your cousin Dwayne, do you think he would have, you Wait. think he would have cut for me? What, my cousin? What, 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 what the f*** my cousin got to do with this, dog? What? Man, let me tell you what your cousin, let me tell you what Dwayne got to do with this. Dwayne what? is the one that put me up to call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your cousin Dwayne. Man, <laughs> uh, what? Wait, who, who you say this? Wait, who is this? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your cousin uh, Dwayne got me to prank phone call you, brother. I mean, <laughs> I mean, man, hey man, too <laughs> damn early, man. We call my money get paid, man. <laughs> You know, I ain't, I ain't got my second check yet, but y'all ain't trying to get money out of the Yeah, <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, boy, you keep playing around. Somebody gonna whoop your <laughs> man. You know you too old for this, man. Before we go, tell me this. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <Tell me something. laughs> <laughs> Just a little child support. That's all the brother asking. What is That's his all problem? The... Why the anger in his voice? What is his problem? <laughs> and I know, I know my crew right now. They want to hear this. They want to hear this. What? August the 30th and 31st. That is a Friday and a Saturday. Back by popular demand. Labor Day weekend. Bethesda Blues and Jazz Supper Club. <laughs> I am coming back. Maryland, Washington, D.C., Virginia, right up in there. Bethesda Blues and Jazz Supper Club. August 30th and 31st. Back by popular demand. Labor Day weekend. The death of you will be in town. I love it. Blues and jazz. Here we come. Here we come. And you will be doing comedy. Yes. I love it. All right, nephew. Thank you. Uh, coming up, strawberry letter for today. Uh, subject, she's ready for marriage. I'm not. Okay? She's ready for marriage. I'm not. We'll get into the strawberry letter today right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And if you need advice on relationships, on dating, on work, on sex, on parenting, and more, 
That's for you, J. Anthony Brown. Please submit your strawberry letter. She's to- here again. I, I love this lady. <laughs> Please submit your strawberry letter to Steve Harvey FM and then click submit strawberry letter. We could be reading your letter. Here's the letter. We could be reading it live on the air like we're going to read this one right here, right now. Let's go. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is, the strawberry letter. Subject, she's ready for marriage. I'm not. Dear Stephen Shirley, I'm dating a woman that is 36 years old and I'm 26 years old. The age difference doesn't bother me much and she has a son that's 15 and uh, he had a problem with it at first. When we first met, everything was amazing and we couldn't stand to be apart from one another. We were holding hands and kissing in public, constantly on FaceTime with each other and we always went to church together. We have great chemistry in the bedroom, and she does not look her age at all. So, here's the problem. We've been together for two years, and I moved in with her a few months ago. Since I moved in, she has been very controlling, and she treats me like her son. She has set a curfew for me, and she only allows my friends to come over when she is at home. She's also very moody, and the simplest thing I do wrong, she gets an attitude with me. To make matters worse, she wants to marry me. She says that we can't live together forever because it sets a bad example for her son. She knew that when I moved in. She knew that when I moved in. This woman told my mother that uh, we are getting married soon and that she has already bought her engagement ring and my wedding band. I just knew my mom would think she's crazy, but she didn't say a word. I love this Mm. woman, but I'm not ready to get married. I wish she had mentioned this sooner because I feel trapped now. And to top it all off, I've been flirting with a girl at church that's my age, single, with no kids, and she is beautiful. I kind of want to see how things could go with the new girl instead of rushing into marriage with a woman that wants to boss me around. Should I leave this woman now before it's too late or should I remain faithful to her and put my foot down about postponing the wedding? Please help. Put your foot down. (laughs) You can mess around and get a whooping, okay? Because she is acting like your mother. She's she's giving you a curfew. Uh, Your friends can't come over. She already bought her engagement ring, your your wedding ring, and she told your mother about it. Why would you want to marry her? Why? You're 26 years old. You're a grown man. She's 10 years older than you. You do not have to marry her. Don't you know you can say no? You can say no. You are definitely not ready for any of this because you're right. She is too controlling. She can't treat you like her son. You're her man. I mean, you guys have slept together you live together come on now this is not the way you want to be treated in a relationship you're not ready for all this uh if you don't have the money uh to move out you need to save your money and get out of her house okay sounds like she just wanted to do all of this to get you in there so she could control you her son will be leaving soon so she probably wants like you say someone else to boss around now it's interesting that your mother didn't say anything (laughs) when she told her all about this it's interesting either your mother wants you to make your own decision uh, about this situation or she just doesn't want to get in your business but I advise you to start saving your money and move okay I think you're not ready for this you're young you need to experience more of life uh, you need to pursue this young lady at church do it respectfully first get out of that house with your mother slash girlfriend or woman or whatever you're calling her but yeah you feel trapped you don't have to feel trapped you don't have to be trapped you can definitely get out of there And I think you should get out of there immediately, okay? Even if you have to stay with your mom for a little bit. But (laughs) call your mom first because she's not interested in any of this. Your real mom. (laughs) Yeah, your your real mom, not your girlfriend mom. All right? All right. (laughs) Come on, Junior, what you got? He can't go nowhere. (laughs) How he going to call him his mama? You heard her. He got a curfew. Mm -hmm. What 26-year-old man got a curfew? Sheldon do? Is that his name? His name's Sheldon, obviously. (laughs) He can't have no friends over. Mm -mm. No, you are not supposed to marry this woman. Mm -mm. Ain't no way in the world. But, dog, you about to marry your mama best friend. That's who you about to marry. (laughs) Because that's what it sounds like. As a matter of fact, prepare for punishment. Both of y'all, you and her son. What you in here for? 
my past, I came in past curfew. Because <laughs> this is what is happening to him. He's being controlled. It is no reason since you even trying to marry this woman. No. All you got to do is just run away, dog. <laughs> don't, that, well, how are you confused? Just don't come back to that house. Yeah. No Go way. on back to your mama house mm-hmm. and everything be fine. Yeah. I don't see why you have the trouble with this. But I'm telling you. He's trying to be a nice guy, sounds like. He's trying to be a nice guy and no, no, not hurting no, no. one, but well, he doesn't care about that, so you you got to get no, out of there. He got to get out of yeah, You situation. have to get out of there. It's going to turn into worse things than curfew. He bought her own engagement ring and his. Yeah, well, that happens a lot, yeah. That happens a I've lot. I've been off it twice, so, you know, it does yeah. happen. Excuse me, wait, yeah, hold yeah. up. This is breaking news. Yeah. What? Yeah, two women bought Women me, will buy their own engagement ring. ring. Yeah, I've been, that happened to me twice. Even though the man said, most of the engagement ring are sold to women by women to put on on that ring for them damn selves. Yeah. Most rings are like that. Now, Nia Long bought one for me. I was in my sleep. But, you know, just the point Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. I mean, you know, I okay. mean, you know, you know. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, I mean, I was asleep, but it happened. That's what I'm saying. I told both of them, no, I got to wake up first. Who am I to kill your yeah. dreams? But, no, uh, he has to get out this Yeah, he does. This You're right. Him in there. All right, uh, listen, we'll have part two of uh, (laughs) this strawberry letter coming up. The subject is, she's ready for marriage, I'm not. She's ready, I'm not. Uh, We'll be back at 23 after the hour with part two right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, here we go. Let's recap today's strawberry letter. Subject, she's ready for marriage. I'm not. Mm A 26-year-old young man wrote this. Uh, He's dating a 36-year-old woman. There's a 10-year, obviously, 10-year age difference between the two of them. He says uh, the age difference doesn't bother him, but she does have a 15-year-old son that had a problem with it at first. He says when they first met, everything was amazing. It was beautiful. The sex was great. All of that. They couldn't keep their hands off each other. They couldn't be apart. They FaceTimed all the time. The chemistry was great in the bedroom. She doesn't look her age. Excuse you, young man. She's only 36, okay? <laughs> She's only 36. Right. What is all I, know. I know. She doesn't look her age at all. I mean, at all. Is she near death in your eyes? Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. is that? Anyway, the problem is that um, they've been together for two years. He finally moved in with her a few months ago. And uh, since he's moved in, she's become very controlling. Uh, she treats him like his her, her son. She's <laughs> This is crazy. She set a curfew for him. 26. He can't, ha- he can't have any friends over without her approval unless she's at the house. Uh, uh, and and she wants to marry him. She already bought her ring and his ring. She talked to his mom about it, and uh, his mom is cool about it. His mom didn't say a word. So he's feeling trapped, and he wants to know, should he put his foot down? Uh, it's a little late for that, sir, because uh, he started her bossing him around. And our advice to you is to get out. Let's hear from Jay. Come on, Jay. Okay, this, this young man has a very, very serious problem. He's engaged or living with or shacking up with his second mama. That's that's not the real big problem second right mama. there. He's got two mamas. You know, one mama just when he told about the situation, the mama just went, mm, mm, whatever. Okay, whatever. <laughs> one, more time, real, one more time, one more mm, time, one more time. Because your mama don't like her at all. Uh, your mama mm. never did like this woman. When your mama go, mm, mama <laughs> like you to meet, mm, mm. That means, in mama talk, I can't stand her ass. Now, here's his real problem. There's no way he going to sit up in that church with another woman, uh-huh. finding in the woman he getting rid of. The first thing he need to do is find him another damn church to go to because the looks he going to get in that, in, sitting down in there, with that other woman and the other woman, said the preacher will start preaching about it. Uh, good morning, everybody. We have a, a special service today. We have a young man in the audience who seemed to not be able to make up his damn mind about what the hell he want to do up in here. It, 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 this church is about people making up <laughs> their mind. That's what the Bible said. The Bible said, these shall make up thy mind. These shall make up thy mind and live freely. Mm-hmm. Now, he got two mamas, two women in the church that he been messing with, fooling around with, mm-hmm. pollinating, but pollinating <laughs> both of these women. <laughs> And we're not going to have this. Man. So what we need to do is communicate this, excommunicate him from the church oh, so wow. he can never come back up in here again. 
Uh-huh. And what he don't know is I really had my eye on the young woman, uh-huh. on both of them women, and here he go messing up, pollinating everything himself. Come on, Pastor. So that's his problem, and it has become my damn problem. Uh-huh. Every time I look at somebody, here come these young, these young bucks, take them from me. Oh. From me. Mm. Mm. We're not going to have it up in mm. here, mm. up in here. I'm about to lose my mind up in here, up in here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank That's you, Jay. All right. Come on, Who is nephew. Jay? Who is Jay? <laughs> Let me go ahead and put it out there. Listen. <laughs> Whoever you young are. Young man. Young man, you are a boy toy. That's what you are. <laughs> you are a boy toy, mm-hmm. and you will be hearing things that little boys hear as soon as you get married. I don't care. You will not be the husband. You will be the boy. Why your bed ain't, ain't made up, Levante? <laughs> Levante, why is your bed not made up, Levante? Yeah, exactly. All right, you can't play no more video yeah, games till you cut that yard, Levante. And I mean that. Do you hear me? I will drop you off at the mall later. Okay? I'm going to give you $150. Get you some sneakers and some from the food court. That's it, Levante. You hear me? Do you hear me? All right? I'm going to let you spend the night at Malik's house next week. Don't ask me no more, Levante. No. <laughs> and I mean that. You know what? I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. From now on, you going to children's church. You, know, you can't. No. Uh-uh. 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 You can't worship with me. You can't worship with me. He can't worship. You're not going to get in between me and my Jesus, Levante. And I mean that. I mean, I told you uh-huh. I would take you to Disney if you act right, Levante. Didn't I tell you that? Mm. Okay, then. Okay. What? Why are you upset that you and my son Cordell have matching outfits? Why are you upset with this, Levante? Why do you have a problem when I'm trying to do something for you? I don't. I don't. I. 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 I, I just. I. I can't. I so, can't. So bottom can't. line, guys, I think we're all in agreement I'm, on I'm, this I'm, one. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm, he. He needs to get out of there. Absolutely. A, a, yeah. ASAP. <laughs> All right, so listen, email us or Instagram us your thoughts on today's Strawberry Letter. Pick up your toys, Levante. At Steve Harvey <laughs> FM, where you can check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on demand. Now, coming up at 46 after the hour, Steve Harvey Morning Show tells you something good. All right, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Time now for Tell Me Something Good. Remember that song by Rufus? Tell me something something good. good. I mean, you know, we hear so much bad news in the world. This segment is called Tell Me Something Good, where we want to spread some good news. How about this one, for instance? A woman named Jacqueline Norvell has launched the Brown Bag Lady Organization. This is to give back to the community. Yeah. Now, once a month, Jacqueline Norvell, also known as Brown Bag Lady, and her crew of volunteers make over 200 lunches to hand out to the homeless on L.A.'s Skid Row. And if you know oh, anything okay. about L.A. Skid yeah. Row, oh my God. Yeah, it's not only about meals, though. Miss Norvell says it's about the interactions. It's about giving warm smiles and conversations. The Brown Bag mm-hmm. Lady organization also provides free haircuts and toiletries. Uh, Jacqueline Norvell says she goes to Skid Row to let the people know they are not forgotten. Now, if you want to help the brown bag lady, this is really wonderful. If you want to help her spread love and spread this good news, go to steveharveyfm.com for more information, okay? I love what a great that. That's good. Yeah, I really like that. Thing. Yeah. That yeah. is really cool. Mm-hmm. If you haven't gone downtown and seen where all these t- tents are, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh, you, yeah. Don't just go down there to tents. look. Go to no. help. Take yeah, some exactly. Money, some food, exactly, right? Jay. Pass yeah. something out. Give them something. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. also, and we're talking a, about L.A., but this is it's all over. Oh, it's it's, 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 it's worldwide, it's all over. It, it, yeah. especially yeah. nationwide. Yeah, we just have such a big concentrated area because of the weather and things like that. You know, a lot of people mm. are homeless here. So yeah, but it, you're right. It, it's everywhere. It is, and if it's in your city. 
you know, and if, if you yeah, yeah, absolutely, you can do something. In related yeah. news, Jaden Smith, we all know that's Will and Jada's, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith's son. Mm-hmm. He chose to sell. He just turned twenty one. He just uh, he chose to celebrate his twenty first birthday uh, philanthropically. I love that by bringing a food truck to the homeless in Los Angeles. A big food truck. It said wow. on the outside, "I love you." Did you see that? I it said, that. "I love you." I like yeah. that. And this is according to CBS News. The L.A. housing crisis is a lack of affordable housing in L.A. You know, not yes. just the weather, yes. but, you know, mm-hmm. prices, housing yeah, prices are, are so high, high here. here. Yeah, so high. And people can't afford to live here, you know. Yeah. Uh, that coupled with, yeah. So anyway, that's a great thing uh, that the people are doing. And again, if you want to help, go to Steve Harvey FM. All right. Uh, coming up at the top of the hour, trending political news, President Trump can't block Twitter users and yeah, Senator yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Senator Mitch McConnell can expect to fight in his 2020 re-election bid. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, so Mr. Donald Trump uh, can't block you on Twitter. Uh, how about that? Okay. Well, I can't. Well, I'm the president. I can't yeah. block people. <laughs> uh, federal appeals court in New York ruled yesterday that the president's tweets are part of the official record, and this is true. This is true uh, because he's the president, and thus us. Uh, Subject to laws regarding official publications, the unanimous ruling upholds a lower court decision. The court made clear that its ruling does not pertain to blocking people on private accounts. It simply said that because Mm -hmm. the president uses the account to make official announcements, it is part of the public record, people. And thus, viewpoint discrimination is unconstitutional. Uh, There's no word on whether the Justice Department plans to try to appeal to the Supreme Court. Ta-da! Well, let's send him a message this morning. Yeah. <laughs> let's nah, tweet nah, him. Nah, let's nah, tweet nah, him now. Nah. Nah. <laughs> he can't block this. <laughs> wow. And don't waste the Supreme Court's time yeah. with yeah. this. Yeah, with stuff like this. He got yeah. more stuff to worry about. Way Get more stuff. So long yeah. ass time. <laughs> <laughs> tweet. Loud and long. And long. Hey, man, what loud and long time you wearing this morning so we'll be ready? <laughs> And we, uh, ain't and other... no back, we ain't had no back-to-back earthquakes when Obama was in office. We ain't had Sure that didn't. That sure means didn't. the earth sick of your behind. Obama had a parade and it never rained. It didn't rain on his damn parade. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, another polit- political news, guys. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell can't expect Red a one. fight. From who? In his 2020 re-election bid in Kentucky, retired fighter pilot Amy McGrath officially announced her campaign on yesterday. McGrath, who was the first woman in the Marine Corps to fly a combat mission in an F-18 fighter jet, served 20 years in the Marines. She is a Democrat. She released a campaign video today titled The Letter, in which she recalls a note she wrote to McConnell when she was 13 that he never even responded to. I don't remember getting a letter from Come her. On, Mitch. Come, Come on, Mitch. Come on. Come on. Come on. I remember she getting a letter from her. If somebody had wrote me a letter, I'd open it with these jaws I got. I you know why he's doing it? All I see is this gobble going back and forth. I was say, yeah. stop that neck from shaking. <laughs> you know, she, I got too much neck for her to beat me. There's no way she's going to beat me with all this neck. I got too much neck in the game. There's no way she's going to beat me with all this neck. I'm not going to lose. <laughs> Mitch, you don't Mitchell. remember getting a letter? I don't remember getting no damn letter from nobody if she said me a letter. I mean, I, man, I'm not the age. I just forget things, but I don't remember that. Not at all. Mm-hmm. Mitch, do you think you're going to get reelected? Uh, I'm already reelected. I'm not cleaning out my office for no woman at all. It's not going to happen. Cleaning out my damn office for no woman. You're going to beat me doing the damn thing. It's not going to happen. You're never going to beat me. Mm-mm, no, no way. Mm-mm, no law. No, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> He sounds stand. just like him, Jay. He sounds just uh, like him. Uh, <laughs> hey, Jay, one day, one day you gotta let you gotta let Mitch talk to Kim Jong Un at the same oh, time. Oh, you can make it happen. Uh, I like Mitch. You know. Oh, I just wait for you to ask for that. I had I've been working on that a long time. I like Mitch a lot. He's a good friend of mine. I like him too because you don't like them white pants you wear. I like them long pants. There you go, Jay. That's how you do it, baby. He is.
is a good guy. He's a good guy, but I don't know what he said, and he don't know what I said. Uh -uh. So sometimes he talk to me, I don't know what you're saying. I have no idea what you're talking. And then I go to him, I don't know what, what do you say. I don't know what you, I have no idea what do you say when you talk. And I say, I don't have an idea about when you talk. And then I say, well, I don't know what you say. And so, and then he, I said, well, I don't know what you're saying. And then I said, who so, is it, so Jay? Said, now, who are you uh, doing? Who are you Mitch, Mitch doing? Don't do it. You're doing it. Mitch, uh, Mitch, Mitch, uh, Mitch, 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 in uh, in uh, Kim Young Yoo, Kim Young Yoo, okay. can he say his own name? Can he say his own name? Can he say his own name? Oh man, this ignorance. Oh, that's that's funny. Funny. Oh, oh, you know, you know, you know I love characters. That's how you go back and yeah. forth, baby. That's how you rock it, man. I'm not gonna lose. I'm not gonna lose. I'm just not gonna lose. I, there's no, ain't no way in hell. I wish a woman would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up, more ignorance, more fun, more music on the Steve Harvey Morning Show at 20 minutes after the hour. That'll be right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. So listen, uh, have you guys ever posted something on Instagram and, oh, my God, instantly wished you could take it back? Uh, yeah. Oh, I instantly. Know. Text messages and everything. And all the, all the <laughs> time, right? Yeah. 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 Sent it to the wrong person. I know. That's the worst. When you send it to the wrong person, <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. the worst. Yeah. All right, especially if it's something bad, right? Well, the yeah. company wants to help you. Facebook-owned social media platform is ro is uh, rolling out a new feature that will analyze your comments and, if something appears to be confrontational, ask you if you really want to post it. Instagram. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. this is wonderful, right? They're trying to help, okay. man. I uh, like that. Instagram uh. says, from early tests of this feature, we have found that it encourages some people to undo their comment and share something less hurtful once they've had a chance to reflect. Now, I this like is it. for the haters. I love yeah. this. This yes. is for, yeah, you don't have to be yes. so hateful now. No, uh, I don't need the feature. <laughs> oh, you don't want it? I, I, I meant exactly what the <laughs> hell I said when I sent it over there. <laughs> no, I don't right. need it. <laughs> but yeah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you you really meant it, huh? I know. No, no, I means what I said. <laughs> Another new feature will allow you to keep certain post uh, posters' comments from appearing on your feed without their oh, knowing yeah. you're filtering them out. I like, like that feature. Shirley, yeah. do they have anything like that'll bring? That, yeah, I mean, they, that do they have anything that'll bring naked back? Like if you send a naked picture, but you can bring it back. They got anything <laughs> no, like that? No, no, no they that's, don't. That's how I've been caught. Well, out this and day. they're not working on it either. <laughs> All right, coming up, more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Some trending news at 33 after the hour. Right after this, you're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, listen, Floyd Mayweather may be undefeated in the ring. We all know that. We all know that. But it uh, doesn't look like he can play basketball, huh, ah. Junior? What's going on? <laughs> Hell what no. happened? Floyd just needs to stick to this ring. <laughs> get off these people basketball court. Okay, what happened? <laughs> well, what the, happened? No, he was playing in a charity basketball game. Mm -hmm. Now, Floyd had to guard the bone collector. Now, for those who don't know who bone, who bone collector is, he used to play in the N1 uh, uh Big baller that he used to be the N one league. Mm -hmm. Where okay. he used to travel around the country and just play. He's a legend, people. right? Yeah, dog, dog, Cole got handles out this world. Oh, he was doing good at first. No, he was guarding him at first. He was doing real good. He was mm -hmm. holding. Him. But Floyd the, was. Yeah, Floyd was mm -hmm. holding. Him. But then the ball, <laughs> the ball collector crossed him over two times, and Floyd slid from the three point line. All the way down to the middle of the free throw line. <laughs> I've never he seen shook Floyd. Him. He, no, shook, he him. shook him so hard. <laughs> Floyd, it looked like he hit him, but he didn't. <laughs> no, he slid all the way down. Now, that visual is funny. Now, you also know that 50 Cent is trolling Floyd mm -hmm. in his uh, Chanel purse mm -hmm. at the Floyd Stunts, his money jewelry on the ground. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Saw it. Yeah, saw it. Saw, saw it. that. Why does yeah. he have this bag? What is this? Well, I it mean, looks like a wheel. That's a big you know, bag. Carl That's Lagerfeld, all I know. Uh, who, who um, you know, designed for Chanel for many, many years. He just passed away uh, not too long ago. He was the one that gave Floyd Mayweather the bag. Oh, okay. okay. So I guess Floyd is paying homage to mm. Carl Lagerfeld. You know, that's his way. And it's yeah. a huge, huge bag. I, I saw it. Oh. He's getting on my nerves. <laughs> is it homage or homage? I hate when you make me question myself. I said it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's consistent. 
That one is consistent. You right. that one, sure. <laughs> Back to Floyd. Yes. Yeah. He's still With the sliding. wagon wheel. Yeah. He's still sliding. <laughs> yeah, he's still sliding. And, and that, to make things worse, don't tell me. Uh-huh. Bone Collector drilled a three, too. Why are you on your back? Whoa. Oh, man, it's messed up for Floyd. So, okay, so we're not giving Floyd any credit for getting out there. and doing, no. We're not yeah, doing no, any of no. that. Uh-uh, Once you didn't uh-uh. slid from the three-point line <laughs> to the free throw line, you uh-huh. didn't slid. He so, should have done baseball. He'd have been safe. So, you know yeah, he didn't slid. <laughs> we are sitting here watching everybody and both like to stop to watch you slide. I'm going to give him some credit for getting out there. For, I, what do you am. mean? I'm going to give him some credit for doing that. We no, know you he gotta doesn't give him play credit basketball. For you know give what? You know what? This is the one time Floyd should have got in that big ass bag and rolled his ass <laughs> off the floor. <laughs> Could have just got in there. Give him credit for being the best in the electric slide. Give him credit for that, okay? I mean, it was literally Tommy slide to the left. <laughs> slide to the right. <laughs> he slid on his back. And then Bone Collected knocked the three down, man. I said, this don't make no sense. All right, coming up, our last break of the day. And Jay's What Have You Learned Today at 49 After the Hour. That's right after this. Uh-huh, right after this. Right after Right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, here we are. Last break of the day. As always, it's been a great day. Absolutely. It's been fun. It's been yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've had a great Such time. A time of today. Yeah. Yeah. What a day. What a day. <laughs> All right, Jay, you ready? All right, class. Right on Bushy Tail. I need to know what you learned today. What did you learn? <laughs> all eyes up here. All eyes yes. up here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Shirley Strawberry, what did you learn today? What you, did you learn today? You picked me because my hand was shaking so hard. I was holding my arm with my other arm, didn't you? I you know you, you did. Because your hair is blue. That's why. <laughs> what did you, you learn today, Shirley? You know what? I, I was really into, um, I think we did it uh, in the 8 o'clock hour, the Tell Me Something Good stories. Mm-hmm. I, I yeah. really love those stories where, where the uh, brown bag lady in Los Angeles mm-hmm. was feeding the homeless uh, in L.A. I like yeah. that. In L.A., yeah. yes. I, I, I love that story. Yeah, I, I really Smith. love that. Uh, she she feeds the homeless on L.A. Skid Row. She gives them mm-hmm. conversation. She has a crew of volunteers. Uh, uh-huh. And she just started Jacqueline it. Jacqueline Norvell. Yeah, yeah, her name is Jacqueline yes. Norvell. They call her the brown bag lady. And uh, she has her own organization, and she did it and started it out of the goodness of her heart. So what I learned from that is it doesn't take a lot of money. It doesn't take a lot of... You just have the desire, and you can make it happen. You have that thought in your head and bring it to fruition. So that's what I learned today. Who can I put my arm down now? Jesus. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Uh-uh. All right. Uh-uh. Don't get your head up off the desk. Carla Burrell, what yes. you, I'm yes, calling teacher. on you. What yes. you learned today, Carla Burrell? <laughs> what I learned today, teacher, is that Floyd Mayweather has a big old <laughs> Chanel bag. <laughs> Come on, Carla. <laughs> That I need. <laughs> That's A. And B, I also learned, teacher, that Floyd uh-huh. Mayweather cannot, cannot play basketball. Okay. Uh-uh. 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 Junior, class is not over with. Sit huh? down. Sit down. Huh? Where are you going? Where are you going? I need to know what you learned today. What did you learn oh, today? I learned of a multiple <laughs> cures for leukemia and sickle cell. A lot of things you can do, people believe, will actually help you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like yeah. um um like like what Jay said, you had like a you had to take a goldfish, uh-huh. crunch it up and drink that. <laughs> also line in your drawers with Vicks Vapor Rub and put them on will help you also. And I found out if you sickle cell, they told me if you mate with a llama, uh-huh. it would also get rid of sickle cell. And I tried it, I still had it. Oh god. That's all, all right, I learned. Now- Nephew, Tommy, leave that girl alone. Stop teasing her and tell me what you learned today. What you learned today. Let me tell you what I learned today, Jay. I learned that Serena Williams, Mm -hmm. okay, she paid homage and homage. She paid homage, homage. Homage. And hummus. (laughs) She paid homage. Homage. Yeah, you, yeah. She paid you, hominy. Yeah, you can pay. You can pay. You he know, paid hominy. And then I learned what you can pay. You can pay herb or herb. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can be. You can pay humble or humble. You know what I'm saying? Houston can, or yeah, Houston. 
yeah. You see, you see, it's humble and humble. You can pay uh-huh. all of that. So I, I, I um, advise everybody to go out and pay Herb and Herb, you. pay homage and homage, pay uh, humble and humble. You know, these are type of things that you want to pay and give back to the, pay light bill, the, the, whatever. The, the people. <laughs> or if you're in, if you're in New York, it's Houston, by the yeah. way. Yeah, Houston, Houston. 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 There you go. Oh, you from you Houston? Go. Oh, you from Houston, son? Yeah, I'm from Houston, foe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jay. All right, here's what I learned. Let me ask now you, this, teacher. Here's what I learned today. Now, this is not that happened on the show, but it came from something that had a, happened a while back when time is said to me, mm-hmm. "You haven't done a damn thing <laughs> for sick or sick. I mean, for, for leukemia." <laughs> he said yeah, that. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah. He said you ain't done a. Da- now nah, I'd have given you money. I'm just playing. Y'all just messing there. with you, Jay. No, 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 no. Don't see. get offended, Jay. God, <laughs> Ooh, he was sick, that. Was, was he sick trying to pop tank me, and he know I gave him twenty thousand dollars for his foundation. He uh, knows okay, that. Okay, the number keep going up Ooh, every time. Damn, he does. I got to get a foundation. The number go all the way up every time he does. But I, I have teamed up with the Cancer Foundation. We're gonna have a cancer. 24-hour marathon of comedy to raise money for leukemia yes. at the J-Spot Comedy Club. I'm going to host it for 24 hours. Nice. I'm looking for comics all over to stop in and do some time. All the money, well, not all the money, a lot of the money. <laughs> <laughs> some of them go to them My boy, My boy say <laughs> not all the money. I got to pay, pay people for working. So. But all the money, uh-huh. not all the money. <laughs> what are you no, a large portion. I like I can say it doesn't make it a large portion of the money will go uh-huh. to the Leukemia Foundation because there's so many people that need help with their bills and their medicine and the and the cancer research needs lots and lots and lots of money to find a cure for this leukemia and all types of cancers, man. Because it is a very serious non racist disease. It affects everybody across mm, the board. So yeah. Yeah, y'all come and keep your boy up with you know some coffee or something and you know keep me company. I'm gonna do it. Twenty four hour marathon. I'm the black Jerry Lewis. The black Jerry Lewis, baby. Go on, boy. All right, Jay. All right, I Jay. love that. Jay, when are you gonna do that? When are you gonna do it? I haven't picked a date yet and mm-hmm. oh, all of, all well not all the money is gonna go to <laughs> right there. <laughs> Why it's you right mumble there. that last part? It's starting to part. go downhill the whole time right now. <laughs> <laughs> and well, congratulations. No, that, that I think awesome. that's about awesome. the date. I just talked to the council lady. I did a, a show in the park the other day, and mm-hmm. she said, I like to do something at the J-Spot, so that's what we're working on. Beautiful, nice. Jay. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. Way well, to give know, back. Let me know, Jay. I'm going to come through there, man. Yeah, me too. What a way to yeah, give back, come Jay. Come yeah. I'll be there. I'm going to come in like at 3 in the morning. I know I'm going to be there That'd soon. That'd be great. I mean, his whole camp is calling me, so I know I will be there very soon. Yeah, you should have been performed Everybody at his on club. his, <laughs> on his uh, 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 that work for Jay is calling me. Yeah. So that's something. Tommy, you know sh- you should have been up there. Even uh, I Tommy? did a set at uh, Jay's Tim spot. Tommy? <laughs> even, didn't I, Jay? Even I did a set at your, at yeah. your club. Now, yeah, Tommy, yeah. I know you need to go yeah. up there. <laughs> anyway, thank you everybody. That does it for today. We will see you tomorrow. We love you. We, we pay you. we pay homage how much to you. <laughs> 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 For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 